Hey, so excited to bring you this video today about my productivity and time management secret. A year ago today, I was hustling in my business. I was overwhelmed by all the things I had to do as my business had fast gone from six figures to multiple six, six figures. It felt like I had a never ending to-do list and I was juggling this to-do list with my family and feeling that discomfort of mum guilt, not feeling like I was present enough, investing enough time with them and I was looking for ways to save time. The thing that I learned and the thing I already knew but didn't trust was that time is an illusion. There is no such thing as time, just like there is no such thing as scarcity of money. That's also an illusion. I started waking up to all these illusions in my life that had been programmed into me just because that's the way things are done. You want to get stuff done? Write a to-do to list. You want to have success? Be organized. You want to make that, that next six-figure launch? Plan it ahead. I started to bust through some of these paradigms that were holding me back from a radical expression of myself and me living my truth in my business. And I'm going to share with you the three things that as part of what I now call the seven by seven miracle frequency method completely turned around how I was using my time how I began to do less and how this led to me earning more. Okay, so tip number one, are you familiar with that racing feeling in your brain? That feeling like you have a hundred things to do and you don't know where to start. You don't know which one is going to bring you the result that you're looking for. You're doing all the things and none of the things are really creating the shift that you want. I have been there, I call it surviving, and I am today a proud recovered survivor leading a movement of other recovered survivors who have given up being a victim to this big gray matter on the top of their shoulders and stepped into their hearts, found what they love, and started to be paid for it. The key way that I did that was starting to create the space in my day where I could access the creativity that led me to these amazing inspired ideas, but also put my mind, my brain, my body, my brain, my heart into this, this coherent energy where I felt more peaceful, I felt more calm. At first, when I started to create, to try to create this space, doing the ways that we're told to do, right? Meditate, just sit down and meditate, follow this guided meditation, do a body scan. That stuff didn't work. I couldn't calm my mind down enough to really go all in these methods. And I began to feel like when I tried to carve them in, tried to do 30 day sprints, commit to something every day, I just felt resistant and I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't improving anything. The thing that I found that really made a difference was breath work. And this is because initially, it gave me something to do. I was focusing on my breath. I was noticing as I was focusing on my breath how it was actually really hard to focus on my breath. I breathed funny. I found it difficult to get full lungs of air. I felt this weird cold sensation in my face. My fingers would tingle. And so this process of doing nothing, effectively meditating by focusing on my breath was almost keeping me active enough that I could stick with this powerful process. As I began to carve breathwork in daily, I started to notice that these feelings started to shift. I started to learn ways to open up my body to breathe better. I found breathing more easy, easy. And I also started to see that calm that I experienced after my breath work started to become more of a sustainable calm. So instead of doing a breath work, feeling better for a little while, and then going back to feeling stressed and busy, that feeling of coherence, that feeling of calm, it was extending out through my days. I felt more peaceful. And in this peacefulness, in this calm, opened up this space where I was able to connect 
better to these moments of inspiration. My life became this stream of creative aha moments that as I started to put them into practice in my business, I started to see my business shift. I also did nothing at all and saw my business shift. And I started to realize that in these spaces, in these moments of calm, where I was able to really lean into the feeling of what I was creating, the intention behind all of it, my purpose, and expand my vision, my vision, not in the way that I was scratching around in what I already knew to see bigger, my vision just became bigger. It was almost like these downloads were expanding the possibility of what I wanted to do. And I was bringing it into my body in feeling. And as I was bringing it into my body and feeling, these things were manifesting into my reality. So the first way I'm going to teach you, if, for example, meditating, committing to meditating every single day is too hard, I'm going to invite you to commit to seven minutes of chanting. Chanting or humming, either is good. We're creating a vibration in our body. We're focusing on doing something. But what we're doing is creating coherence between the body and the mind, the heart and the brain. And all you literally do is take a big deep breath in from the bottom of your um, your energy center. So from your root, breathing in, flat feet on the floor, hands open. And then what we're going to do is make a tone. And I would like you to make an ah sound and really focus on vibrating your body. Then an ooh sound that really focuses on vibrating your chest and your heart. And then a mmm sound that really focuses on vibrating your brain. Here we go. Ah. And what you'll notice is even in one chant, your entire energy is changing. You're bringing your body into coherence. You are opening up that channel, that vortex to yeah. the energy that is beyond you. And so if you can extend that out into a few minutes, seven minutes of chanting, you'll be amazed as to the difference this makes. You don't need to lie down and meditate. This could even be humming. I love to use the um, the meanings behind the sounds. Ah is the sound of creation. Ooh is the sound of gratitude. And mm is, um, I've lost what mm means in the moment, but there are meaning behind meanings behind the sounds. And that's powerful. You are creating just in the sound of your mm by creating a high vibration that you are resonating out of you into the universal field around you, bringing your energy up to match the energy of what you're looking to create. Your big issue with manifestation, if you're not having these things coming to you easily, is that you are in a different frequency to that what you want. You're saying that you want to have this um, big impact, this big impact income, these amazing experiences, but your frequency could be saying something differently. And I know for me, that step from six to multiple six figures, it required that space to get really creative, to really understand how could I show up bigger? How could I make more of an impact? How could I do things more effectively? You need the space to connect with that inspiration. So if you would like to experience chanting, just a few minutes of chanting, I'm going to pop a link down into a breathwork journey that I've just released um, on my YouTube channel. And you're going to get to experience the feelings that this chanting creates in just a few minutes. The second thing is breath work. If you can extend, so what I tend to do is I tend to move my body first. So I get all that extra energy out. Maybe I shake, maybe I do some yoga, maybe I dance around, then I'll do my chanting and then I'll settle down into my breath work because I'm, I'm my body's peaceful, my body's ready. And again, the breath work is creating space. It's it's the experience of breath work is indescribable. You have to try it for yourself before you understand the power of it. Now, that breath work that I just talked about, um, it it's close to 30 minutes, but you don't need to have that amount of time. I'm linking it down in the description so you can give it a go. 
ago, but you know, seven minutes of just breathing in a rhythm will bring your body into coherence, your brain, your heart into that coherent state opening the space. I asked a client once when she said, I don't have time for all of this breath work, all of this meditation. I don't have time. I've got stuff to do. I've got goals to meet. I've got this. Um, I said, what if, I said, do you believe that your energy is attracting everything that you want? And she said, yeah, sure. I believe in that stuff, law of attraction. And I said, well, what do you trust more? Do you trust the, the thoughts that are circling around your head and the energy that is attached to them? The worry, the scarcity, the fear? Or do you do you trust the space? And she said, wow, that, that's a really powerful question, Claire. Because those thoughts that she was having, they were scarcity thoughts, not enough time, not enough clients, not enough money. The space is this energy of coherence, which you can then elevate to a high energy. That's what we're doing in a breath work. There's three phases to a breath work. We're connecting with the feeling. We are releasing, uh, elevating that feeling up and releasing whatever could possibly be dragging it down. So by the end, your energy is in the same frequency as that vision. And then we just let it go. You don't think about it again. Because that's the other block to manifestation, right? You're thinking about these things all the time. How can I? How can I? How can I? Instead of trusting to the universe that it will get delivered to you, just like an Amazon package gets delivered to your door. You put the details in, you choose what you want, you let it go. You don't worry about the courier that's going to deliver it, how it's going to get on the ship, how, 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 how. You just let it go. And that's what we're doing in breath work. So I encourage you to jump into the description below this video and have a go. Carve 30 minutes out for this. Don't jump on if you've only got 10 minutes. Carve 30 minutes out to go through this breathwork experience and see the difference in how it makes you feel. Um, and if you are loving this stuff, if you're loving what I'm talking about, if this is your journey right now to play bigger, to step into those soul goals, to have it all and make it easy, expansion of yourself, expansion of your business, scale of your business without sacrifice of your personal energy, your personal goals, your personal time, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am here to activate what I call your miracle frequency so that you can experience awakened wealth. Awakened wealth is abundant choice. It is all about your frequency and what your frequency attracts to you rather than you constantly trying to push shit uphill as the proverb goes. Life can be easy. Business can be easy. You can have it all and it can be easy and your miracle frequency is the secret code. So subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Hit the little bell and get no notifications when I post new content, which will be stuff like this, talking to you, teaching you, but also amazing breathwork and neurosomatic experiences as well. Plus the notification of my transformational events across the world, including my next amazing transformational event in Mexico in Jan January 2023. If you feel this content will help other people, share this video with them and comment below to tell me what you liked, what has been helpful, what you're going to try. Now, the third thing is we've talked about this, this miracle frequency. There is one thing that people don't think about and you need to know this for the other things to work and that is the purification of your body. If your cells are full of toxicity, this is also dragging your frequency down. So the third step, and this has an interesting side effect as well. The third thing is intermittent fasting. I love Fast This Way by Dave Asprey. It's an epic book and he teaches you to fast um, your way, you know, almost intuitively, more with the rhythm of your own body rather than getting fixed in somebody else's way because some people we you know if you work with the ayurvedic energies your doshas some people aren't meant to fast but fasting has like i say two benefits that are key to this number one you're allowing your body to do its natural purification processes which is clearing out all the yuck and opening up those energetic channels of abundance number two the side effect is you're forced to sit in those spaces where 
ordinarily when you're hungry and you will fill the space in with a snack, with a drink, with a coffee or whatever. I still have coffee when I'm fasting, but you'll fill it in, right? You'll distract from what you're feeling in the moment. And it's that distraction that puts us out of coherence. Ultimately, those feelings of discomfort are your key to freedom and Fasting begins to give you the time, the um, reason to start feeling into some of that and shifting some of those bad habits, negative feelings that are affecting your frequency. So I've shared three powerful ways to activate your miracle frequency in just seven minutes a day. And I now would love for you to explore this more deeply and learn about all the ways as part of this miracle frequency activation method that you can start attracting more wealth to you to take you from being a survivor to a recovered survivor and a powerful creator of everything that you want. Playing bigger. All you have to do is drop into the description and click the link to activate your miracle frequency and I will show you exactly how and I will be excited to see you over there. Try out the breath work as well and have a wonderful day.